Still coming equipped to hit him at wordplay I'm Alexander the Great, I dare him to slander My name damage your brain, they ain't never been a fan of my ways Still coming equipped to hit him at wordplay I'm Alexander the Great, I dare him to slander My name damage your brain, they ain't never been a fan of my ways What's good YouTube, we're back with another tutorial finally it's been a couple months but i'm gonna try to keep these going weekly for you guys today i'm gonna show you guys three different compressors that i like to use to make my vocals sound mint these are pretty much like the meat to my mix everything else is like the extra sauces i use these compressors and pretty much all my vocal chains love them if you guys are a little bit unsure what compression is we're taking the quiet stuff and we're leveling the quiet stuff up with the loud stuff it's compressing everything until it sounds even consistent you know this has a nice balance and sounds good so our first compressor I like to use is our Clay 3A. There's a Clay 2A, Clay 3A. The Clay 3A is mostly used for drums. You can use it for vocals, which I like to do, but it gives you a more punchy, aggressive sounding vocal. That's why they use it for drums, because it gives you a nice, nice good kick, some nice punchy drums. But personally, I love to use it for vocals. Second, we have our Arvox compressor, great compressor. The Clay 3A, I like to use for like my balance. It's good for finding a nice balance. The Arvox is good for finding a nice tone, a good color. And then our, our compressor, our third compressor, I like to use for like shaping our compression. So say we want more attack, a more punchier vocal, we can use the R compression and it'll give you more control to do that. Or let's say you want like a softer, thicker type vocal. We can use the R compressor because it has more control and we can achieve that effect. Now the Clay 3A also has a limiter on it. You will see compressor limiter. So I like to also use the limiter at the end of my vocal chain to just to limit everything off. Now I'm going to go ahead and play these vocals that I have here without the compression. And then I'm going to put the compression on. You guys can see the difference. So come and equip the hit him at wordplay. I'm Alexander the Great, I dare him to slander my name, damage your brain. They ain't never been a fan of my ways. So come and equip the hit him at wordplay. I'm Alexander the Great, I dare him to slander my name, damage your brain. They ain't never been a fan of my ways. So when the compressor's off, I'm sure some of you guys notice our vocals are everywhere. Some are louder, some are quieter. And when we turn the compressors back on, you have a more even, balanced, consistent sound. Now let's go ahead and get into these these compressors here the clay 3a i'm alexander the great i dare him to slander my name damage your brain they ain't never been a fan of my ways i'm alexander the great i dare him to slander my name damage your brain they ain't never been a fan of my ways simple you have two knobs you have your peak reduction which is like your amount of compression and then you have your gain which is your output to turn the volume up so what you want to do is start with your peak reduction turn your peak reduction up until it starts activating the compression Find your compression and then turn your gain up. Now, as I mentioned, I have a compressor and a limiter. Now the limiter is like a more aggressive compressor. It has a higher compression ratio. And I like to use this at the end of my mix. Like I mentioned before, it's limiting any sound from going past a certain point. Then over here in the bottom right corner, you guys have your frequency spectrum. Now this will determine the frequency at where your compression reacts. So if you turn it up, you'll notice your vocal will sound brighter. If you turn it down, you will notice you have a flatter type vocal. Now that's the first compressor. Now our second compressor, the Arvox. So now that we have a pretty good balance in our vocal, we wanna bring that vocal out and get a nice tone out of that vocal and get a nice color and get a vocal that's really in your face. And that's where the Arvox comes in. So come and equip the hit him at wordplay. I'm Alexander the Great, I dare him to slander my name, damage your brain. They ain't never been a fan of my ways. So come and equip the hit him at wordplay. I'm Alexander the Great, I dare him to slander my name, damage your brain. They ain't never been a fan of my ways. Three controls, you have your gate, you have your compressor, and then you have your gain. Now for the gate, I don't really use that too much, but if you guys have hissing in the background or a fan, like I have this air purifier over here. I turn that off when I record, but if you guys have noises in the background or you're recording in a space that's not really insulated too well, then I would suggest using the gate because it's gonna help get rid of that noise. My room is pretty well acoustically treated, so I don't really use the gate too much. And then we have your compression and your gain, so it's pretty straightforward, it's two, two knobs. Add the amount of compression you want and then turn the volume up to get your volume the way you want to. And you guys have tons of different presets and all these plugins you have tons of different presets to play with and then last but not least we have our our compressor our compressor has more control and you can do a lot more with it so this is what i like to use to really shape my vocal give me a punchy vocal now i'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and play it 
without the compressor and then i'm going to turn it back on and show you guys what it sounds like with the compressor so come and equip the hit him at wordplay i'm alexander the great i dare him to slander my name damage your brain they ain't never been a fan of my ways so come and equip the hit him at wordplay i'm alexander the great i dare him to slander my name damage your brain they ain't never been a fan of my ways now as i'm sure a lot of you guys noticed with the compressor the vocals sound a lot more punchier they cut nicely through the mix they're sharp and without the compressor they sound a lot flatter so if we take this attack and we bring it all the way to the left we take the release and bring it to the right so come and equip the hit him at wordplay i'm alexander the great i dare him to slander my name damage your brain they ain't never been a fan of my ways now notice how your vocals sound super flat now if we go the opposite way so come and equip the hit him at wordplay i'm alexander the great i dare him to slander my name damage your brain they ain't never been a fan of my ways you have a more aggressive, punchier type vocal. So this attack and release can do wonders for your vocals. So make sure you guys <laughs> set your threshold for stuff gets compressed. So a good way to find your threshold is to find the quietest part of your vocal. The volume's going to about right here. So we'll bring the threshold right below that. To about here. So now we know anything above that is what's being compressed. We'll try to find like the quietest part of your vocal track and start from there. But that is pretty much it for me. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you guys want to go check out these effects, links are down below. There's also links to this preset. So if you guys want to purchase this preset, links are down below. It's called Rap God. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see. I'm going to try to continue doing the I am. I'm not going to try. We're going to continue doing these videos every single week. So uh, let me know what you guys want to see. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you guys soon on the next one. Peace out.